I will be happy if my game is half as crazy as all the other games this week. I've seen the replays. You guys aren't going to want to miss them. Go and check out the other coaches in the description when you're done with this video. But here we are for week one of The Greatest Showdown. This week, we're taking on T. Row Price. You can see the matchup on screen, so let's get right on into it and explain what sets we're bringing and why. So first things first, you guys can see that the bottom six on your screen are the six that I'm kind of expecting T. Row to bring. I think the Tentacruel has to come. I think the top five is like guaranteed. And the Tentacruel... Could be Mammoth Swine. Could also be some other random set like Bramblegast. If he really wants the Shadow Sneak for late game into Boulder, for example. But Mammoth Swine's a lot more likely. Uh, Tentacruel, I just think, has to come for spin because my top six is so hazard heavy. Between Tusk's Rocks, uh, Archaladon's Rocks as well, Ogre Pond Spikes, T-Spikes on Weezing, right? So, and Greninja Spikes. So, I think that the Tentacruel is kind of important here. Obviously, he has a Magic Armon and two Mons off the ground. If he runs Boots on the Hands or the Darkrai, like, suddenly it's only one Mon that's affected uh, by the, the Spikes, right? Or any Hazard, for that matter. So, Tentacruel is not mandatory. It's just, like, if he doesn't want to have to play around Hazards the whole game, necessarily, and he doesn't want to bring Boots uh, on, like, Darkrai, for example, then it's, it's something that he's going to want. Uh, but I could totally see Mammoth Swine coming instead. That said, the first mod on the team is, of course, Iron Boulder. You guys see it on the screen. We are running a booster energy set, but we're boosting attack. And I made this thing really, really bulky. And I have screens on the team, as you'll see later. So basically, this thing can get up an agility and a swords dance in front of pretty much anything. I want to get rid of Skarmory before I try to set this thing up, because Skarm will beat this with Iron Defense, unfortunately. There's no way to really break through it. Uh, Zen Headbutt is kind of necessary here, uh, because... I need to get a potential flinch on like unaware Clefable as well. Zen does like min 40 because of the booster energy uh, into max defense Clefable. So uh, being able to get a flinch off potentially before it can get up a cosmic power is quite important. Uh, and even if it does get that initial cosmic power, I can Zen twice uh, or Zen into Mighty Cleave. If I get one flinch on one of the two first Zens, then I'm good, right? If it is unaware. That's if it's unaware. Uh, if it's not unaware, then this is just easy money, right? So Boulder's a very excellent late game sweeper behind screen specifically. And the booster in attack is big because it really allows me to just break through pretty much everything the the Latios the Skarmory everything so uh that's the boulder set that we are bringing this week let's move on to the next one and here we have the Archaladon now Archaladon is going to be running once again a uh, bulky set <laughs> behind screens very hard to break I'm just running max HP with a lot of spit F uh, with a positive nature and a little tiny bit of speed just for like hands and stuff as well as Clefable and we're rocking hard press this week I'm considering maybe switching it over to Iron Head because hard press actually drops like like tremendously in damage output the lower the opposing pokemon in front of it is so uh, i might swap that out for iron head still have yet to see him uh, and then we have dragon tail thunderbolt and stealth rocks on the set so i think that uh, dragon tail and thunderbolt are ex actually extremely disruptive to t Row's team uh, being that uh, dragon tail just phases everything out and of course the skarmory doesn't take a lot of damage so it will from thunderbolt and then hard press is there for the Clefable, right uh, hard press also does way more to mammoth swine than heavy slime if you guys are wondering why i'm not running heavy slime uh, and the reason i'm not running flash can and over either one is because the setup sweepers on Tiro's team uh, are more special setup sweepers. Like Latios and Clefable can both run Calm Mind. So that's why we're going with the physical variant here. Next up on the team is Great Tusk with Earthquake, Temper Flare, Rapid Spin, and Bulk Up. Now this set has actually worked surprisingly well in testing. It's very easy to catch the uh, Skarmory coming in on Earthquake and then Temper Flaring it the next turn. Of course this thing is here because it uh, once again deals really good damage. You'll notice that I don't have a way to actually hit Latios, uh, which is really... It's it's something that T-Row is going to have to play around early game, but once he knows the set, he can always bring in Lottie. And Lottie is a little bit of a threat to our team. There's not much that I have for it, but if I can make the right switches during the game and have screens up, for example, I don't think that Lottie will be that big of a deal. I think I'll be able to contain it, hopefully. But yeah, Earthquake, Temper Flare, Rapid Spin pretty much hits everything else. It's quite nice here. The speed on here, so we're 256, I believe that times 1.5, equates to faster than Darkrai, 384 if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's why after a rapid spin we'll be faster and we'll be able to Earthquake it before it can hit us. Uh, I fully expect Darkrai to bring like Hypnosis, Psychic, Sludge Bomb, or Focus Blast, one of the two, plus Dark Balls. Uh, I don't think it'll be Nasty Plot, if anything it'll be Hypno, which is why the next one on the team is going to be our Weezing with Pyapa Berry and Rest Talk. Now Rest Talk looks weird as Weezing normally runs a pain split set, 
uh, when it wants recovery. But in this case specifically, I want to be able to check Darkrai as best as possible. If he nasty plots on the switch, uh, I'll be able to eat that no problem, thanks to the Pyopa Berry. If he psychics the next turn, right? And if he hypnosis, then I have a 66% chance of getting a move that I want uh, on the sleep talk on the following turn. And once again, if Tiro goes for the nasty plot, I will still live psychic even after the bad dreams damage. For Spadef, of course, on this set with a little bit of physical defense investment that's going to help us take on the Iron Hands, especially. And Clear Smog is really good for the Clefable as well if it is a cosmic power set. So that's uh, that's what we're rocking here. That's why the 44 speed's on there. Second to last on the team, we've got Greninja. Now I'm running a Choice Scarf, a physical set here with just Gunk Shot and U-Turn. And I know this looks weird, especially into a Skarmory and a Latios that can like Terra Steel or Terra Poison, which is usually what it'll Terra into because of Levitate, right? I know it looks weird, but I need something to hit the Clefable. I'm very scared of Clef, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and the U-Turn is just really, really nice into the Latios pre-Terra and the uh, Darkrai and just having something to outspeed them. Uh, then we got Spikes because it's very hard for for t row to actually clear hazards without the Tentacruel. Those chip turns on Darkrai and Iron Hands are going to be very important, and especially on the Clefable if it's not rocking Heavy Duty Boots and it is unaware. Uh, the, that's really big. And finally, Switcheroo. Really cool move on Greninja. And you'll notice that my EVs are very weirdly placed. It looks like the 220, like I made a mistake and the 224 should actually be in speed. It's not. Once again, this thing is just faster than I believe Scarf Mammo and one other thing that I can't remember. It doesn't matter. The point is, uh, we're out speeding Scarf Mammo. I don't need more than that. So the rest I poured into but F to be able to take uh, Dark Pulses, Sludge Bombs, uh, potentially Dragon Pulses, Terra Dragon, Dragon Pulses, uh, a Moon Blast from Clefable, Scalds from the Tentacruel. So we, we poured everything into Spadef and attack here. <laughs> Let's hope it works out. And finally, the linchpin of the team is going to be our Raikou. Now, Raikou is Volt Switch, Scald, Reflect, Light Screen. Very basic, uh, but... Once this thing gets up screens, it's very hard for T-Row to clear. Uh, he basically needs Brick Break on the uh, Iron Hands. I believe it does get it. Uh, or the Mammoth Swine, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so he'd have to anticipate screens and he'd have to bring the breaking move for him. And even then, I don't think it's enough considering, I didn't mention this, but our, our Chaladon is Terra Fairy. Uh, and that's actually quite important here because... Tiro does not have a good way to hit Terra Fairy super effectively. Skarmory is just like the only way with Iron Head or Heavy Slam from Iron uh, Hands, but that does literally nothing. So it it could be uh, Heavy Slam from the Mammoth Swine as well. But uh, yeah, that that's that's another key factor here is that when the screen is up, if I'm already Terra with our Chaladon, if you go for a Brick Break, you're just boosting my defense. And it's going to be even harder to, to move around, especially if the hazards are up, you don't have boots, etc. So that's why Raikou is the set that it is here. We're just rocking like max HP with uh, with a lot of speed, enough for Latios. And uh, Inner Focus is the ability because it doesn't really matter. I probably should uh, specify Greninja is Protean uh, and Weezing is Levitate here. I considered neutralizing gas. I preferred Levitate just because of the Mammoth swine just to have something to come in on it otherwise my entire team is grounded and that gets really bad really quick so yeah and the other abilities are obviously obvious right you got stamina on or chaladon and then you got the cork drive and the uh, protosynthesis on boulder and tusk respectively uh and then yeah greninja is uh is protean here and raikou is inner focus because we don't need pressure it'd be nice to start the season off with a 1-0 so i will see you guys for the battle all right here we go let's get into this game and let's see what tiro brought for us Okay, so uh, this is basically the six that uh, Darkrai brought for me. Okay, so my lead is always Gren. Uh, I gotta pull up my Kelk. Of course, I have Shodex here, but I always like to have a backup. So I expect either an Iron Hands or a Clefable lead. Eladios is Terra Dragon, so that's something that we have to be careful of. So uh, on the Clef lead, I actually want to go for Switcheroo because I want to stop this thing. Well, my Scarf is actually quite important. So I kind of want to go for U-turn at the same time. Uh, then go our Chaladon, get up rocks. So I am going to U-turn uh, immediately and see what kind of damage I do. 18% to Clefable with a, a U-turn. Okay, so that is not Fizz Def. That's like calm. Or it's offensive. Like it might be offensive too. But I am going to get off the U-turn. I am going to go into our Chaladon here. Very good to get this in early. He's going to get up rocks. I don't see leftovers. Oh, great. 
I had switched this out and now it's the wrong move. Well, let's get up rocks. It's supposed to be iron head on here, but it's fine. It shouldn't matter too much. He is going to go into his iron hands. Uh, I plan to go into tusk on this every time. Now it could be like banded. I might want to scout with wheezing. I don't think I do. I think I still want to go tusk uh, every time on this thing. Now I do have terra fairy. I'm just trying to weigh whether it's worth going for terra fairy immediately or saving it for like a 50 50 turn on the Latios, on the Mammoth Swine. It helps out a lot against like everything. Like it creates an instant 50 50 when this thing is in front of one of his like top four mons over here. So I think I am just going to go Tusk. All right, we do see a Volt Switch. So that's going to get blocked immediately. I think I am going to go for the bulk up here or do I go for Rabbit? I think I go for bulk up. So I am going to get in Tusk very easily here. So he goes Skarmory. So now I actually want to Earthquake into Temper Flare. Plus one temper flare does like a really good amount. So yeah, I'm just going to click Earthquake. And he's going to Whirlwind. Wow, okay. So he would have let me hit him. Interesting. Okay, now he doesn't know what I am here. I want to take this as an opportunity, I think, to go back into our Chaladon. Or I just bring right back in my Tusk, seeing that he's a Whirlwind, and I can just Rapid Spin. Get the rocks off. If he spikes, then he's Whirlwind, Spikes, Roost body press i don't have to worry about iron defense the whole game i don't have to worry about brave bird so and if he's brave bird over body press then our child on walls forever opponent could pull a double into latios here i don't know if you risk that necessarily because i could just go for strange steam potentially but he does risk it he does go latios and in comes my tusk if this thing is specs it fires off a draco meteor and I can't do anything about that. So I'm actually gonna take a few seconds here to bait him into going for the psychic move, expecting my wheezing to come in. My wheezing is Pyapa. It can eat a psychic move. Kinda need it for Darkrai. Now, if I go into Greninja and he Dracos and he's Terra Dragon Draco as he is, uh, he does just blow me up. <laughs> so I just wanna see this. Give this thing Draco Meteor. Terra Dragon. Yeah, that does 100 to 118. So I don't really wanna do that. I think he always goes for the dragon move here though. Okay, so I am Pyop on Weezing, so I am going to go into it. He is going to Terra Dragon, and he's going to go for the Draco Meteor, and I catch that. And now I want to see if he goes for the Psychic move. He does go for the Luster Purge. Fantastic. Okay, so this is an easy U-turn. He has to be worried about Specs. I know he's not Scarf now, so that's good. He could be Soul Dew. I don't know, he's making some like somewhat obvious plays. So I'm going to try to catch him on one of these turns, but I am going to U-turn here, uh, mainly because I don't have a way to, like, properly hit this and draco just like destroys me so there is that so he does go hands i am going to u-turn here uh, and i'm just going to get back in my tusk and this time i'm going to rapid spin if he wants to sd that's fine i'll bulk up the following turn so he does go skarmory i am going to spin uh, and this turn i'm going to go for a bulk up because i am not concerned with skarmory at all and now that i know that his latios is not scarfed uh, granted, I can't hit it because of Levitate, but he doesn't know that yet because he hasn't seen Temper Flare. So I'm actually going to go for Temper Flare here to weaken the Skarmory, leave it at about 20%, and pretty much anything coming in except Gren should be able to take care of it. Uh, I don't want him Whirlwinding me into Iron Boulder is the only thing. That's the one Mon that I'd be concerned with him getting right now. So we are going to Temper Flare. We are going to do 45 he is going to Whirlwind. He gets Weezing, unfortunately, so that's annoying. But that is going to give me my Raikou. He could make the double into Latios, still. But he does just go for Roost. Now, he doesn't know if I'm Specs or whatever. So I'm actually going to go for the Reflect here, because I know that I outspeed Latios. And I can just get up a Light Screen in front of it if it comes hard in. So in comes Hands. I get up the Reflect. Once again, we can just go for... I can do a few things. Uh, I can Volt Switch into Weezing, I can Scald, try to get the Burn, or I can Volt Switch into Tusk to once again get rid of the hazards that are up. I think I'm just going to Scald the first time, see what he wants to do, see if I can pull a Burn. I don't. He gets off a Drain Punch, it does 27, he gets back about the same amount of health, uh, but now I do get to Volt Switch and I do get to bring in my Weezing. So my Raikou gets a little bit lower, it should still be out of range of Dark Pulse, from Darkrai, unless it's at plus two, obviously. Boulder's looking really good. If I can just get rid of the Skarmory, I'm looking amazing. Skull didn't do that much. I want to actually, before I continue here, I do want to calc that Skull damage. Yeah, that should be a mid-roll on Assault Vest, so I'm just going to Volt Switch out. He does bring in his Clefable. I don't see Rocks damage, so I'm going to assume this is Magic Guard, uh, and I'm going to bring in my Archaladon, and I kind of want to go for Dragon Tail here, expecting the hands. But I could also just go for Hard Press, which should do very good damage. It doesn't do great damage to hands, but I can just Terra Fairy and then Dragon Tail after. 
So I am just going to go for the hard press here. It does the most damage to Mamoswine, like when it switches in. If hard press, uh, I wasn't too worried about it. So he is going to go for Moonblast. He does a, a decent amount of damage, but nothing crazy. I do get stamina here. And at this point, I am just going to hard press again because hands coming in doesn't bother me. He's probably just going to go hands here. Now, I could predict that and switch out into um, anything, really. But I want to take this, this moment right here, as an opportunity to get off my Terra and just Dragon Tail this thing out, get it out of here, make it take more chip, uh, so that it is no longer a switch in to, uh, to Tusk and stuff. So he's going to go for Drain Punch. He does 5%. Uh, I'm going to get another Stamina Boost there, and I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail again, and I'm going to get Darkrai this time now. Darkrai should not be running a move to hit me. It should be running just like Dark Pulse, Focus Blast, Psychic. It's also Boots because it just didn't take Rocks damage. Uh, I think I am just going to Dragon Tail again and try to get this thing out of here and have it take Chip. I am now at plus two defense. That's very good. And if he is just Psychic, Focus Blast, Dark Pulse, Nasty Plot. Oh, he is Sludge Bomb. Wow, okay. See, I did not expect Sludge Bomb. But uh, that's okay, because I'm at plus three defense and behind a reflect. Nothing this thing goes for should knock me out. So I'm just going to go for hard press. It's 105 base damage right now. Uh, and that might even knock out Mamoswine, actually. Uh, let's see, hard press. 76 to 93. So on the high end, it actually does knock out, like, no bulk Mamoswine. If it has any bulk, then it's easily going to take this. But uh, I'm using this as an opportunity to chip his team. And uh, the plus three defense is insane because my defense is 740 without the reflect right now, <laughs> which is cracked. So I have like 1500 defense. Right now, the Mamoswine does uh, 11 to 13 to me with a choice band with Earthquake, <laughs> which is nuts. That's, that's crazy. Arch is crazy. Um, but yeah, I am just going to go for the hard press here. Uh, he can't recover with hands. He can't recover with Clefable because I'm faster than it. Uh, he basically he can't recover with anything. Um, Latios could come in here. Uh, I could definitely see that. He is going to sack off the Clefable, so this is cool. Um, and yeah, hard press should just well, it's base four power now. So I'm actually just going to go for T Bolt and knock this thing out, <laughs> and that should be fine. Uh, T Bolt should easily knock it out from four percent. I'm not risking going for a base four power move uh, into the Clefable and not knocking it out. He actually goes Scarm. As I T-Bolt, catch the Skarm and do a lot of damage to it to the point where it's actually just like in range of everything now, like literally everything, even Strange Steam, if it switches out from here. So this is great. Uh, also, he just let his entire core, his entire defensive core, take a crap load of damage. Uh, and that's actually going to make it a lot easier for my uh, Iron Boulder to win the game. Uh, because his Skarmory is Rocky Helmet. Uh, it doesn't have leftovers or anything. Uh, I get up one agility. I think I pretty much win because I'm attack booster. I want to calc that on Mamo actually. So I need a little bit more on the Mamoswine, like two more switch-ins uh, and it's dead. So this is the most obvious sludge bomb of all time. Uh, there's not too much I can do about it. I kind of just have to let our Chaladon go down. Then again, having to, uh, this secondary fairy here uh, is actually quite nice. Uh, because it, ha it means I have two immunities to Latios' Draco. Uh, meaning I'm forcing it to Luster Purge more often than not. Uh, now, if I go into Greninja on the Sludge Bomb and I get poisoned, uh, my Greninja is basically dead. So, I just want to see. He's not Life Orb, so we'll take that off. Get rid of the Life Orb. Just no item right now. Sludge Bomb does 35 to 42 to my Greninja. So, it's not dead dead. But it would suck. Um, but I think that's okay. I think, I think I'm good with going into Gren here. On the Sludge Bomb, take 41. Easily eat that. Uh, and then we are just going to go for the U-turn. Um, and now if he brings in his Skarmory, now it's really dead. Uh, now I can probably even, I might be able to spin kill it. Uh, but he actually goes hands, uh, which is going to give me the spin anyway, which is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted the, the spin turn, get rid of this spike, make it so that everything can switch in a little bit easier. Uh, and now Iron Boulder basically comes in at full. So yeah, the hands should get spun on. He might go for a Drain Punch. He actually goes for a Play Rough. Pretty good play. Um, I have no reason not to Earthquake here uh, because any chip anywhere at this point is really good. 
Uh, Temper Flare is going to knock out the Skarmory after uh, Earthquake misses very easily. Uh, Hands is now at 22% as well. Uh, so I am just going to Earthquake here. He goes into his Skarmory. That's fine. I'm just going to knock this thing out at this point. Um, now, I have to. I do have to consider if the Latios is um, Agility, right? If the Latios is Agility, like Calm Mind, that could get really bad. That could definitely be pretty bad. Um, so I think I am going to go into... I think Raikou... Raikou switch back into Tusk is correct, I want to say, from this point. Um, and then bring an Archaladon once he's at minus two, right? And then just Dragon Tail him out. That's probably the play. Alternatively, I could just go hard Archaladon, uh, but I do feel like... I don't know if Gren's the play. He'd have to Draco... Putting himself at minus two. And then that gives me the swords dance with Boulder? Or the light screen with Raikou? I think that's correct. So I think I do go Gren here. As he ice beams and fails to knock me out. Fantastic. Okay, that, that could not have gone better. Now, we did say that um, Boulder wins... Uh, once it's at uh, once the mammo is at like 61, but that's no bulk mammo. So I think I am just going to U-turn again. Alternatively, Gunk Shot's pretty good here. I think Gunk Shot is actually my play. Funny enough, because that should pretty much do exactly what I want. So I am just gonna Gunk Shot here. If I miss the hands, it's no big deal. I do hit, so that is gonna kill. Um, now mammo can come in. Uh, I do still have my Weezing very healthy, however, so I'm not, like, overly concerned with this. Um, and yeah, I think I am just going to go into Weezing. Now, Weezing is my, like, emergency against Darkrai. So maybe the better place to go Tusk, because Tusk literally does nothing. Yeah, I'm going to go Tusk. Tusk is correct here. Um, he had Stealth Rock on Clef. I doubt he puts Stealth Rock on Mamo as well. Um, I haven't gotten to see what kind of damage output this thing has done because it hasn't gone for a move. Um, so there is that. Uh, I think at this point, if I get up a Reflect and then a Light Screen in front of this thing, right? Because let's see. Let's go Tusk. He's going to go for Trailblaze. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not, like, overly concerned by that. Like, I want to say that doesn't matter that much. Because, one, he has to trailblaze again. Um, and I can switch a room with Greninja if I really, really want to. And secondly, I think our Chaladon just lives any hit. But I could be wrong about that. And uh, trailblaze is a little annoying for sure. Um... I think the play is actually go hard Archaladon, funny enough. Well, let me calc the damage, because he's definitely not choice ban, right? How much does Arch take from, like, Earthquake? 44 max? I'm at 47. So I think the play is just Earthquake. So he trailblazes again. Goes to plus two speed. Uh, I will go Archaladon. And I will just go for the Dragon Tail. Because uh, Hard Press will not knock this out, I don't believe. 68. Yeah, that's not enough. So I'll just... Uh, everything misses, really. Um, hard Press... No, it's definitely Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail is my play here every time. He might still have Icicle Crash. Which could flinch me, obviously. But if I Dragon Tail this out, I win with Boulder. Like, on the spot. So he does have Crash. Does he flinch me? He does not. So I get his Mammoth Swine out. Awesome. Darkrai comes in, and I'm not concerned. I think I just click Dragon Tail again. And then I go Gren, and then I U-turn. Uh, and that should be a win. So he's going to go for Sludge Bomb. I'm going to go back into Greninja. I'm going to U-turn again. 
Uh, if he brings in Mamo, I just bring in Raikou and Scald. Um, if he brings in Latios, uh, I think I go hard. I go Raikou. I go Raikou anyway. No matter what he brings in, I go Raikou. Raikou's completely safe here. Uh, I think Raikou actually might knock out Mamoswine from where it's at. Although I don't know if it's AV because I haven't hit it with a special move yet. So it could still be AV. Should probably calc that. How much does Skull do? Okay, so he is going to go Mamo. I am going to go for U-turn. And now Skull definitely kills. No matter what. Um, yeah, so we'll go Raikou. For sure. Um, and I think Scald is free, man. I think Scald is just completely free. He doesn't have counterplay to this. His Latios has revealed three attacks. I doubt its agility last. Um, it's probably like, I don't know, Roost. <laughs> Could be weaker dragon move as well. Um, to not drop his special attack. There's a lot of different things it could be. But, uh, oh, he's Pasho. Okay, well, he's going to die anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, Darkrai can come in and flinch me. Latios ends up coming in. I'm going to Light Screen. And then I'm going to Agility with my uh, Boulder. And that should be the game. So we'll go for Volt Switch. Um, he can Ice Beam Freeze me. That's about all he can do. So I'm going to Volt Switch. I'm going to go into Greninja. He's going to go for Luster Purge. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to go for Switcheroo. And then Agility, right? And that should be the game. I kill Darkrai, right? With Boulder? Like, there's no way that lives. 61 to 72. What's it at? 71? So yeah, it takes rocks, it dies, yeah. Um, it probably has some bulk, though. I do have to consider that. But I don't think it's ever KOing me. So, yeah, I think I click Switcheroo here. And that should be that. Well, then I give him a Scarf <laughs> is the thing, right? Oh, but I outspeed with Boulder anyway. So maybe that doesn't matter. Okay, so we get the Switcheroo off. Let's see what he goes for. Draco, fantastic. He's now locked into that. Now I go Boulder. I go for Agility. I'm plus attack. And uh, is the booster energy applied? Oh, it wasn't applied yet. I'm doing min 81. Min 79 to the, uh, the Dark Rai. So even if it's max bulk, HP, EVs, 252. No crit, fantastic. Two... 252. Uh, Min is 67, so he's dead. So that's a GG. All right. Misses the Draco. Doesn't even get a chance to crit me. We just mighty cleave three times, and we win the game. I maybe should have SD'd there. Um, I thought that would kill with the booster. Apparently not. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, but yeah, I should always do min 67.5 to the, uh, the dark rye. There's no playing around this. So yeah, that's uh, that's a GG. That's a 3-0 victory for your Montreal Hapsals. Oh, right, it's boots, but I'm still doing min 79. Uh, but that's to no HP, right? Hold on. It's a max HP, min 64. Yeah, there's no way he's max HP. <laughs> Not with the damage that he was doing to my mons. I saw his roll on, on Greninja earlier. There's no way that that was max HP roll. This has to be max speed specifically for Boulder. And it also had to have like a good amount of special attack investment to do that much to Greninja. Because my Gren is max bidef, So, Yeah. This should be game. Turn 43. And uh, Boulder picks up two kills. Very nice. Very nice. GG's. Very good. So that's going to conclude week one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, as usual, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like the video. And uh, definitely make sure to go and check out the des description. My opponent's channel is linked there, as well as all the other coaches for the greatest showdown this season. You guys don't want to miss a beat. The games this week, I'm telling you, were insane. I mentioned it in the team builder, but definitely go and check out the other games because they were crazy. They had nutty endings. Uh, so yeah, go and do that, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.